Imagine heading to the store and buying whatever your heart desired, from basic necessities to high-end electronics, and with the swipe of a card, it was all paid for, free and clear. That's exactly what one woman did recently, but the money she was spending wasn't hers. After a recent trip to a Cape Coral Walmart, a senior citizen lost his credit card. A sly suspect somehow found it and went on a four-hour shopping spree at three area stores. Her first attempts afforded her fraudulent charges to the tune of about $1,500, but eventually her luck ran out after trying to purchase another $1,200 worth of goods with the stolen card, which was declined and forced her to leave the store empty-handed. What's even more frightening is the fact that the stolen credit card used in this case belonged to a male, and the suspect is clearly a female, and no one at any of the three stores even checked this basic fact. Law enforcement says this is a crime that's on the rise, but there's something that each one of us can do to help make a difference. I don't care if there's 50 people behind me in line. I'm going to take the time to put my credit card back where it belongs. Sales clerks are another line of defense in helping protect people's credit cards and debit cards from being compromised. If it's a man's name and it's a female standing in front of you, you might want to ask for ID. In this case, the woman likely found the credit card somewhere along the line, then charged it up as much as she could, treading a path from store to store until she could charge no more. There's even a good chance that she hadn't even planned to steal the man's credit card, but she certainly took advantage of it when the crime presented itself to her. It's a crime of opportunity. You have that card, you may not even thought to take somebody else's card and use somebody else's card. But in times of economic distress, good citizenship sometimes goes right out the window and stolen or lost cards are being used to commit oftentimes unintended felony crimes. The bottom line is this, always be careful with your credit cards, monitor your account activity, and if you're a clerk, take that extra minute to ask for ID. As for this unknown suspect, we're hoping someone will be able to put an ID to her face so that the justice system can teach her the valuable lesson that crime doesn't pay. For Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers, I'm Trish Rout.